Hi guys, did you miss me? While programming in SQL, I'm sure you were often troubled by data that couldn't be retrieved with a simple query. In fact, the more precise and detailed data you want to retrieve, the more complex your query has to be. But don't worry, there is a cure for this complexity. It is called subqueries, and I wanted to devote this episode to explaining their use. Why should you use subqueries? Because they give you clear, nicely structured code which is easy to read and modify. There are many types of subqueries. We have simple ones like predicate, table or scalar subqueries, and more complex like correlated subqueries. Today, however, I want to explain the general idea of subqueries on examples of predicate and table subqueries. So, let me introduce you to the basics. Usually, we put subqueries into WHERE and HAVING clauses, but it's also possible to embed them inside SELECT and FROM statements. Look at the general scheme. The subquery is in the brackets, and if it is not a correlated subquery, which will be our concern in the next tutorials, it will be performed only once. What you have to remember is that the subquery is performed first, before the main query. Why? Well, that's the whole idea of subqueries. The subquery result can return one or more records, which become a part of parent queries condition. Obviously, a subquery result has to be known to process the main query. Let's take a closer look at our first example, which is a predicate subquery. It is in the WHERE class as the right side of the condition. What is important about predicate subquery? It is a part of the logical condition of the main query. The result of the predicate subquery is always a single record, and very often it contains only one value. Every logical operator is permitted in this case. What are the results of the subquery and of the whole query? Well, the subquery gives us the average salary for employees in the company, which in our case is 4,500, and the main query retrieves the names and salaries of employees whose salary is greater than the average, and that's it. Another type of subqueries are table subqueries. The result set of table subqueries, in the contrast to predicate subqueries, can contain many records. Because of this, only in, any, and all operators are permitted. How does these operators work? Let's see in the following examples. We have the same table of employees here, but this time we want to retrieve every employee who earns the most in each respective role. Select name salary from EMP, where position salary in SELECT POSITION MAX FOR MAXIMUM SALARY FROM EMP GROUP BY POSITION Now it's the time to learn how to use the ALL and ANY operators. Both are the same type of operators, but they really differ, so stay focused. The ALL operator can be used with a table subquery in condition statement with logical operators. But be careful, the O operator doesn't work efficiently with the is equal operator, if you know what I mean. Just look at the example. Select name position from EMP where salary is greater than O, select salary from EMP where position is equal to manager. How does this piece of code work? Simply. It retrieves each employee whose salary is greater than any manager's. That means there is no chance to see any managers in the result set. Now, how do you expect the subquery would work if you put this equal operator instead of the greater than in the main condition? The salary from the left side cannot be equal to every salary value from the subquery result set, can it? Hmm. Maybe it's some extreme cases. 
Analogically, the operator any means that the value on the left side of the condition statement has to be equal to at least one value on the right side to satisfy the condition. So, all and any are a little bit like AND or operators. I hope this video helped you. If you just started with SQL, I also encourage you to download the code from my site. It's just a database dump I use in my video tutorials. You can import it into your database server and start practicing with me. It's easy. Have a nice day. Bye.